Hello everybody and welcome to the MGTOW Academy YouTube channel. And for those of you who are subscribed or have been to my channel before, thank you and welcome back. As I promised in my last video, women are trying to stop MGTOW, today I'll be discussing how third wave feminism helped men. It's funny how their anti-men propaganda garbage created results that were the exact opposite of what they were expecting. Men are now turning their backs on women. So without further ado, let's get right to it. We believe that third wave feminism began somewhere around the early 90s. It was a result of second wave feminism ending and was designed to improve on issues that second wave feminism didn't focus on. Now, by that time under law, women were equal to men, but apparently that isn't enough. Well, that wasn't enough. Modern feminism has spun out of control, and because of this, men are now turning their backs on women. The MGTOW movement is a great example. Women with some sense and who aren't brainwashed by third wave feminism even realize the issue also. Christina Summers, a professor at Clark University, has to say, uh, has to say this about modern women, specifically regarding third wave feminism. So this is what she has to say. Are some women just becoming too sensitive, or do we need to reevaluate day-to-day interactions between sexes? I think women have become carried away with victimology, with a rhetoric of male bashing that is full of female chauvinists. So let's break that down. She's saying that women are too sensitive, and first and second wave feminism has already taken care of the daily lives of women by giving them the same rights as men. She is saying women are getting carried away with playing the victim. And do you also remember how she said with the rhetoric of male bashing that is full of female chauvinists? She also realizes how modern feminism is just anti-men political ideology. That's a little peek of how horrible third wave feminism is. I'd also like to mention that a podcast on fourth wave feminism won't come out soon or even come out at all since it's essentially the same thing as third wave feminism. Uh, in a nutshell, fourth wave feminism is... Essentially the same as third wave feminism, except it's more about it being spread on the internet. So I don't think I'll be making a video on that unless I actually run out of ideas, which won't be soon. So here's how it works if you don't get it. Feminism changes in different stages or waves. After women got what they have wanted or have achieved their goals through that specific wave of feminism... Women will then make the next wave and focus on issues that the previous wave didn't solve and also on new issues regarding women, which, by the way, will never end. Issues regarding women will never end. Uh, so ultimately, feminism has no end if this is how it works. Now, let's look deeper into third wave feminism. Third wave feminism has horrible structure in the movement itself. Its ideas are illogical in our modern society, which has mostly been repaired by first and second wave feminism. A common debate inside the feminism community itself is about women's sexuality, formerly known as the feminist sex wars, or as the lesbian sex wars. It causes debate to this very day, and it's about it's about women's sexuality, basically. Um... There are two sides to this debate, the anti-porn feminist and the sex-positive feminist. This is pretty much about women and pornography, their relationship, etc. You know, you get the idea. Sex-positive feminists embrace pornography only if it's safe and is about consent, etc., etc., etc. Now, anti-porn feminists believe that women in pornography leads to violence, it objectifies women, gives them a bad image, etc., etc., etc. So this is an example of how poorly that third-wave feminism is structured. If you're going to have a movement, or if you're going to have a revolution, at least agree on some topics and be able to agree on, like, a view or, or a set of ideas. I mean, if, if you... Okay, so if you're, if you're reading, like, a, a movement... And when you're talking about a certain topic, everybody just splits in two? Come on, like that's that that just shows how unstable the third wave feminism is and also shows why it's failing miserably. Third wave feminism is hated mostly because of its anti-men ideas. Third wave feminism is against the way men talk, the way they behave in relationships, and even the way they sit. They also do this by making up words like mansplaining, manterrupting, and of course, the renowned manspreading. I can easily debunk these so-called words. 
Let's get started with mansplaining. Mansplaining is a term used by radical feminists to describe the way guys talk when they explain. You know, like a father would talk to their son. That's what they mean. But when my, when my dad talked to me in a mansplaining in a mansplaining manner when I was a young kid, I I understood things better. And, I, and he still does it to me, and I understand things better. I don't see how that's sexist. And about the word manterrupting, it is true. It is indeed true that women are are interrupted more. I looked it up. I did the research. Statistics prove that women are interrupted more than men. But I still don't get how it's sexist. It is true that they are that they are interrupted more, and it's also impolite, but it's not sexist. That doesn't make sense. And let me address this so-called manspreading. What about women using up more space on public transport systems and, and just, like, putting items on the seats next to them, like shopping bags or purses or even their own feet? But it's not a big issue. Double standards much? Like I said, modern feminism presents illogical issues that make no sense whatsoever and is purely anti-men political ideology. So third wave feminism helped us by showing us men how women will harm us. And because of this, men have learned to avoid women and to go MGTOW. So that, my friends, is how third wave feminism has helped men. Okay, guys. So this podcast is coming to an end. Firstly, I want to thank you all for listening to my podcast for this long. Like any other podcast, this will be available at SoundCloud.com with the link in the description below. I am always trying to improve my videos. Your feedback, whether it's good or bad, is very important to me. Please leave suggestions in the comment section below. I will appreciate it regardless if it's negative or positive. And of course, I'm always open for questions. I always am open for questions. Just leave them. Once again, in the comment section below, and I will happily, I love to answer questions. I will happily answer your question. I will not hesitate to answer it, and I'll answer it to the best of my ability. Guys, until next time, I hope you watch more MGTOW videos, and especially some of mine. I wish you all the best, and long live the spirit of MGTOW.